Wow, man. This is insane. It's crazy, man. Y'all don't know how much this game means to me. And I'm not even a gamer. But I do want to tell y'all, like, why I purchased this and why this brings back so much memory, so much nostalgia. Um, some of you all probably can relate to this, too. But college football 2025, man. Let's talk about it. So back in the day, I used to have, of course, a PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4. I do have a PS5. Now, I haven't turned my PS5 on in probably a year and a half. That's how important this game is. This game brought me out of my my slump with my PS5. Like I haven't been playing games and I just be too busy, but I had to get this game because back in the day, right? I remember playing college football and it used to be like a campus mode, right? And you used to create your player, you used to go on like campus. They used to make you take quizzes on like mascots and stuff like that. You had to make good grades in order to play. Like I remember that and that was like middle school or freshman year of high school, somewhere around there. But I just remember vividly like how great life was when I started playing NCAA football. And when I bought this, I bought it because one, I know that we've waited a long time for this college football. I think the last game came out maybe in 2010 maybe. That's a long time. So this means a lot to a lot of people, but I just wanted to express how much it means to me. And sometimes we as people have to get back to what makes us happy and what brings back great memories, especially with everything going on in the world right now. So many, so many stuff is on the news and we have to get back grounded to what makes us happy, what makes us feel good. Think about the great times, good memories, happiness, you know, and this game brought that out for me. Like I just purchased, I just pre-ordered the game. I could have pre-ordered it on the actual system, but I wanted the actual copy. But I just pre-ordered the game on Amazon, forgot about it, showed up to my doorstep, and it just hit me how important this little game was in my life. I remember vividly how excited I used to get to play NCAA football. I would wake up on a Saturday morning. It used to feel good outside. And I used to always smell my mom's bacon and eggs and she always used to make grits. So I would eat that breakfast, go back to my room, cut the PlayStation on and hop on the game. The first mode I would go to is campus mode because I enjoy playing just as a single player, going through the motions of trying to make it as a starter and things like that. Then as I was playing that, a friend to call, it could be my cousin Mike, it could be my boy Channing, it could be Tayshawn from next door, it could be Dalvin from down the street, it could be it could be anybody, right? And then I'll answer the phone like, yo, what's up? You on that you either eat, you either say you on that duty, or we was playing SOCOM back then, or you playing football. I'll be like, yo, I'm playing football, I'm trying to come over, blah blah blah. Set it up. Friends come over, we do a tournament, man. We play this tournament. Whoever wins, stay on the sticks. Whoever wins, you don't give up the controller. So we play like a tournament the whole day almost. We go in, play for about four, five hours straight, and we just go at it, man, picking different teams, laughing, telling stories. And it was just a time where life just seemed so simple. You know what I'm saying? Life just seemed so simple. There wasn't a care in the world. You know, you're around people that makes you happy, y'all laughing. You got your family around, you got your friends around. And it just was a time where I don't think I can ever replicate that feeling anymore, you know? And even after purchasing this game, it brought back the memories, it brought back the feeling of just remembering that time. But I don't think I don't think I could bring that back. I think I'm at the point of life where I can look back and be like, yo, that was such a great time. And, and I just can't mimic it. So when I put this game in, it's just gonna be me. Like I don't have the friends from next door, the boys down the street to come play. I'ma hop online, see if any of my friends got it and we could play together like that. So times has just changed, but 
just thinking on it like back then you don't even think about like how life would be past that moment you know what i'm saying like you're not even just living in the moment you're just living like you're not even thinking about like yo i won't have these times again Next time a game like this come out, I won't be able to just chill with my boys in the room. We cracking jokes. We going in on each other like that. That's what that's what I miss, you know? So like, even when I go upstairs in a moment to pop this in for the first time, I know I'm gonna have so many updates on my PS5. Update the system, update the game. I already know, so I probably won't even get to play for like another hour and a half. But even just think about popping the game in and playing like my mindset is so different than what it was when this first came out like when they first started dropping ncaa football like i could remember being a kid riding a bike playing with my friends not giving a hell about what's going on outside in the world not having a job not being able to provide for myself but now like i can look back and be like yo like i'm a fool on a dope I'm a fool on a dot now. And it's just crazy to think about. Well, I'm so excited to pop this game in, play it, and just feel it. You know what I'm saying? Now, college football is one of my favorite sports. Outside of basketball, college football is just something electrifying, something just having you on your seats about close games, rivalries. Like, it just don't get no better. So I'm glad they finally decided to bring this game back out because people like me and some of you all that may have played it when it first came out, like you get that feeling like, yo, I waited for this. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember when I used to wait for the next college football to come out. As soon as it come out, I'm going to GameStop. I'm going to get it or I'm putting it on the Christmas list and hopefully my parents, somebody get it for me. Like now, I can just buy whenever I want. Like it's just, the mindset just changed, man. And I'm really feeling appreciative. I'm feeling appreciative about just being able to grow up in that atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? Like we didn't have it all, we didn't have the most, but like my mom, she always made things happen for me, my sister, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and even like my friends, like if my friends had a game, we could, we could just borrow it from each other. We go to each other's houses and play it. And just being in that atmosphere, like it really changes my perspective on like life. Like even when I start to bring kids into this world, I want them to experience a similar experience of just being able to be, be a kid, be able to look forward to different things that's coming out and cultivating an atmosphere with like your friends. Like I don't even see kids outside like that anymore, bro. Like riding bikes, playing basketball, outside hoops, like not even in a gym, sweating outside, just balling on a beat up goal. Like you don't see none of that anymore, man. Maybe, maybe it's just the area I live in too. But this video is really to help you all think about ways to continue bringing out those childhood like happiness. And that's what we have to strive for, man. Like, yes, we're adults. Yes, we're not in our childhood anymore. We remember the good times, but who's to say we can't try to mimic some of those good times, right? Who's to say we can't try to feel some of those same feels again? And that was the sole reason why I got this game. And I'm so happy that I did. I'm so happy that they brought it back out. And if any of y'all feel the same way, let me know in the comment section too, when it comes to this game or even things that maybe you did when you was younger and you decided to pick it back up, whether it was riding bikes, whether it was doing puzzles, whether it was Legos, like it's a lot of things that we used to do back then that sometimes get lost in translation. You know what I'm saying? Busy scares of life, family, you know, you got real world problems going on. You got real world things to handle at home, at your job. And sometimes you forget about the small things that you did when you was little that made you happy. And I just implore all of you all to think about some of those things and bring them back into your life. That doesn't make you a big kid. That doesn't make you lame. That doesn't make you someone that somebody might look at and be like, why are you, why he or she doing that? Nah, do what makes you happy. And even if it's like getting a game and being prepared to play it days in, hours out, just like when you were little. And that's what I plan to do. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, before I let y'all go, one of my boys, right? The other day he sent me something that really, 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 really made me feel like, dang, those times was good. 
but I think he saw a post. This is my boy Channing. He saw a post that um, the picture showed like things that remind you of your childhood. So this is the picture right here. I'm gonna show y'all. Right there, street lights, popsicle in a cup, drinking your water from the hose, and then sitting on those little electric boxes, yo. Come on now. If you ain't sat on those electric boxes, I know it was hazardous, but if you ain't sat on them, I don't know what kind of childhood you had. And then right there at the last one is getting some type of rug burn or burn or scraping your knee or leg from running and playing. Crazy times, man. If that don't remind you of good times, I don't know what will.